What's going on YouTube? My name's Jay Rutherford and here are five subtle but totally usable sounds from the Eventide H9. So if you're a guitar player and you like effects pedals, you've probably seen the Eventide H9 somewhere along the line. Uh, I've been using at least one and sometimes two of them on the road, on tour for the past three or four years. And I, I kind of think that it gets a little bit of a bad rap. Uh, obviously one, it's completely digital. Two, the interface is not very intuitive when you compare it to a regular classic sort of three knob overdrive pedal or delay pedal. And there's just a lot of unusable sounds in the box. There's, there's sounds that are super cool when you're dinking around in your bedroom, but if you take it into a live context, it kind of isn't really gonna translate. I would say the Eventide H9 is probably known for being a one-stop shop reverb and delay machine, but I personally prefer using the delays uh, on a more tactical pedal where I can easily manipulate the knobs, like a Strymon Timeline. The thing about the H9 is that it's seemingly intimidating because you have to kind of go into a menu system and organize presets, but if you have an iPhone and you know how to update the OS on your iPhone in the menu system, it's really not that different. So I like to use the H9 for harmonizers and modulations and kind of very specific psychedelic type effects. And in conjunction with another delay pedal, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I think it goes really well before the delay pedal. The Eventide H9 might not be the coolest pedal on the market, but I've seen them on a lot of pros pedal boards. Uh, my band was doing drums at Peter Frampton's studio a couple years ago and I saw his pedal board and he uses three H9s. It's pretty nerdy. But if you know how to adjust parameters and if you know how to use things subtly, you can get great tones. Flipping through the presets on an H9 when you're just at home playing by yourself, they all seem to be set up for super extreme mode. Uh, but I find that dialing them back a lot of the times uh, is how you really find the magic. So without further ado, let's go over each one of those sounds uh, you heard in the demo song. Okay, so the first setting you heard was the nebula setting on the H9, which is part of the black hole algorithm. 
And this is actually one of the presets. Uh, I didn't tweak it at all. It's one of the defaults. But it does this super awesome cosmic reverse reverb thing. And it reminds me of a kind of Ed O'Brien from Radiohead type sound. Uh, there's like a little bit of a pre-delay so you can kind of almost like a swell. Uh, and it fits into the mix really well live. And you can even throw distortion in front of this and it just sounds insane. Um, but it also kind of has this kind of pizzicato, like, violinesque thing. So you can hear how there's a little bit of a delay time between the pick attack and the sound because it's a reverse reverb. Super cool and super usable in a mix. Second totally awesome, totally usable setting uh, is what I like to call the Mac setting, uh, named after Mac DeMarco, uh, but it's on the Triceracorus algorithm that recently came out on the H9. Um, and it essentially is a, is a kind of warpy, detune-esque vibrato, and it just kind of has a magical sound. <laughs> reverb on that. And it's just so subtle, but it just has such a great little warpy detune vibe. All right, the third sound you heard in the video was from the uh, H910 algorithm, which is the flagship algorithm on the Eventide H9. And it is, from what I understand, an exact replica of their old H910 unit, which is the unit that had the two, basically, micro-pitch engines that can do delay. But this is how all those vocals in the, in the late 70s and early 80s had that super signature sound, that kind of just subtly micro pitch shifted sound. Uh, and there are several different choruses on the H9, but this is my favorite, my favorite chorus on the unit. It has that classic eventide sound. Uh, and you can totally just get a, a super Knopfler. delay coming from the timeline uh, on back of it, but if you want to change to something like this, I use this sound with my band Los Clones all the time. That's a super awesome sound. That coursing, the uh, the H910 coursing on the, on the H9 uh, is probably my favorite sound on the whole box. It just sounds super warm and super lush. All right, the fourth sound I think is awesome, which is from the uh, phaser algorithm on the H9, uh, is this univibe setting that I've got. And I, I don't really think the H9 does phaser particularly well, but I think the univibe's pretty awesome on it. <laughs> distortion to it, take off that reverb. So the last sound I had on the demo track is I think kind of the secret weapon of the H9 uh, and that's the super specific harmonizer effect you can program in. Uh, so you 
pick your key. In this case, I've got uh, E plus three is what I've called this preset. And uh, in the demo song, I, I picked the major scale, but uh, my default is the Mixolydian scale. So if you know the key to the song, if you're playing live and you know the scale, you can set up this harmonizer to, to generate a, a third harmony up or down or a fifth or essentially whatever you want, but you can get really specific so you can get these kind of soaring, uh, you know, Gilmore-esque guitar mini vibes or Allman Brothers or whatever, and you can do it live and it just kind of blows people away because they're like, ha, who's doing the harmony? Is there another guitar player? But the thing about it is you have to mix it subtle. So I have the mix, I think around 20, 30, 40%. You don't want to crank the mix on this. It's got to be a subtle thing. So it ends up sounding... about the H9, you really can accomplish a lot with just one pedal and you can probably find them used relatively cheap these days and upgrade them to the max and you get all the algorithms for life. So I think it's a really cool pedal. I think pros use them because they can dial in exactly what they want and you can find a whole plethora of really interesting sounds. Thanks for checking out the video. My name is Jay Rutherford. We'll see you next time.